Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new to my channel, hey welcome, I hope you consider subscribing. And if you're back as always, welcome back. Today I am very excited to be here with you all with another sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Club. So a huge thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. Um, this kit along with the other new releases this week are going to be released tomorrow, which is Saturday, February 19th. And these releases will go live at 9 a.m. for an early release for Ruby and Diamond level rewards members. They'll get half an hour of early access. That's Pacific time. Half an hour later, the release will go live to the general public at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. So be sure to convert that to your time zone. Anyway, let me share with you all what we have today. This, you guys, one of my favorite artists. The Water Fairy, Mandy Manzano. You guys, we get another Mandy Manzano piece. I feel like it's been a minute. I've had to go back and double check, but I adore Mandy Manzano's artwork, and so it is always a treat to get more from her. Now, super important, you guys, this kit is going to be limited edition. What does that mean? That means that this is going to be the only planned run of this kit when this sells out. Diamond Art Club is not planning to restock it. Now, they have shared in like the VIP group and in some other area, or other groups, I think, uh, that just in general, they're going to be discontinuing kits a little bit more frequently because they've been releasing so many and so many with amazing artwork that they're running out of warehouse space. What a good problem to have, right? But all this to say, if you are uh, noticing that New releases like this one are gonna be limited edition and you think you might want it, I strongly recommend jumping on it while you can because they are selling out. They are selling out and who knows whatever happens with licensing sometimes. I just tend to say, if it is on your wish list, don't wait. <laughs> Keep an eye on that uh, last chance or limited edition or discontinued section on the Diamond Art Club website. Okay, now that I've scared you all. <laughs> um, everything on here tells us a little bit more about the kit. This is going to have round diamonds and be 51 by 84 centimeters. And again, this is the Water Fairy from Mandy Manzano. On the back of the box, we do have info about how to diamond paint. If you'd like some uh, tips and tricks there, if you are new to diamond painting, let's see what all kinds of goodies we have in our box. So, all right, make sure I got everything. Now, I know some of you are probably already screeching for joy. This kit, at least, my version of this kit, hopefully most of them are going to come with the new toolkits from Diamond Art Club. Now, these newer toolkits, they get asked about so, so, so often. So I wanna give you guys a quick heads up while I'm also showing you what is in here. Um, these are brand new and are going to gradually, keyword gradually, be added into kits that are being distributed. You guys, I'm not gonna pretend to understand the full ins and outs of the exact production process, but it is not super cut and dry. It's just how it works. Some of the new releases are going to come with this newer toolkit and some are gonna come with the older toolkit. The older toolkits have absolutely everything that you're going to need to do your diamond painting. These upgraded toolkits have just a couple of bonuses, a couple of extras, a couple of small upgrades. So there is not a hard and fast way to know if your kit is going to come with this toolkit or the older version. The only suggestion that I have that is still not a definite thing is to watch sneak peeks like this and see uh, what kit, what toolkit seems to be coming with this kit. And this may or may not be what comes with yours. Okay, I just give that big disclaimer because I see it asked about so often. These are still so new that Diamond Art Club is not even yet advertising these new toolkits on their website. They still say that you're gonna be getting your basic toolkit. So anyway, we get a bag of baggies. This is in both the old and the new toolkits. We get a basic pen and a squishy. Um, with the new <coughs> toolkits, your mileage may vary as far as the exact color of your pen and squishy. This one is sparkly blue. You're also going to get a caddy that's holding your pink wax. You have two plates in here. Be sure that you take up that, there's a plastic cover on top of the wax. Make sure you peel that back. 
before you go to use it. Otherwise your pen is not going to stab very well. Uh, we also get two multi-placers. I think the older kits just come with the one. I like that these are the skinny plastic multi-placers. Uh, these come with a slightly different tray. The new trays are clear and they're sparkly. They're a little bit deeper and larger as well. And again, new with these upgraded toolkits, you do get a, this is a tray stopper. So less likely to spill, spill your drills. Finally, most of these new toolkits, not all, like I said, it's not totally hard and fast, will come with a roll of washi tape. I use washi tape to cover the borders of my painting in case there's any glue that's gone past the edge of the drill field. I also use washi tape to section off my diamond paintings. I do have a video on how to use washi tape and section off your diamond paintings if you like, but that's that. Again, your mileage may vary on the exact print. And then this is a cover minder. It's a little like half macaroon, macaron. And cover minders, there's this magnet on the back. The way that you can use these is if you peel back a section of the plastic, the plastic cover that's on your kit. Um, you can slip the magnet underneath the canvas, pull the plastic back you know, on the top, and then set this on top, and that's gonna hold the plastic in place so it's not constantly flopping back down. So those are the bonuses in the to new toolkits. Now we also get this little logbook sticker. This is a sticker, like I said. I like to use this in my paper logbook since it has the original artwork and all of the information about the kit. Um, some people will also use these. They'll slap it on the side of the box that the kit came in to help sort through their stash. If you're super crafty, you can turn this into something like a cover binder or whatnot whatever you'd like to do. I'm not very crafty. I just use it in my logbook. <laughs> All right. The rest of the uh, kit materials will be in here. So we have that plastic dust cover, diamond art clips canvases. Oh, that is super soft, super, super soft. I love diamond art clips canvases so much. <gasps> you guys, it's been a while since I've unboxed a Mandy Manzano. <sighs> Look how pretty she is. Oh my goodness. She's Tall. Okay. So I will flip this sideways so you can see a little bit more of her in frame. Feel free to flip your devices sideways if you like, but then you can see a little bit more of her. Let's see what all has come in here. So first we do have a booklet here. Thank you for your purchase. And there's info in here about how to diamond paint a link to the VIP Facebook group, which I like to recommend because they often are sharing insider info there and lots of helpful tips and tricks from fellow crafters. And it's just a really it's a helpful group. Step-by-step -step instructions on how to diamond paint and then some tips and tricks as well as a discount code. If you are new to Diamond Art Club and thinking of making your first purchase, I do have an affiliate discount code that you're welcome to use. Uh, it's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and then the number 20. That will save you 20% off your first purchase. Please, 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 please never feel obligated to use that. Um, I may make a small commission and I super appreciate it. That always goes right back into my channel, but um, please don't feel obligated. There's so many amazing affiliates out there. And if nothing else, um, there's also discount codes everywhere <laughs> in various Facebook groups. There's one at the bottom of the canvas. If there's a packing slip with your order, that usually has a discount code. There's one for the first time you use the Diamond Art Club app. Um, I just say don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club. They don't want you to pay full price. There's discount codes everywhere. <laughs> uh, we also have this sticker sheet, which look at that original artwork. How pretty is she? How many bags of 310 do we think we're going to have in this kit? <laughs> Maybe some darker blues. We'll see. Um, we have the name of the artwork and the artist, a spot to write your start and end date, info about the diamond painting kit, including size and the, the skew. And then over here, we have a set of pre-cut labels. Um, this kit is going to have 51 colors. The color code over here on the right is the DMC color code. Um, any numbers under the number 150, though, are going to be AB drills. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And I will explain more about those drills if you're new uh, once we get to actually looking at the diamonds themselves. So stay tuned. Uh, but we're gonna have four of those in this kit. These are all pre-cut for you. So if you like to kit up into storage containers or put all your diamonds into reusable storage containers, you can put these on those containers and it's gonna go so quickly because like I said, they are pre-cut for you. 
Looking at the symbols, I always like to take at least a first cursory glance and see if any two symbols, three symbols, seem to be very similar to one another and look like ones we might mess up. Um, the only ones that are jumping out at me right up front, I do see we have arrows here on white backgrounds. They're different colors, green and orange. Um, I always recommend that if you have things like multiple arrows or uh, sometimes we have multiple of these triangles pointing in different directions i recommend taking your storage containers and orienting them the same way as you're working on the painting a large painting like this you're likely going to be working on it upside down and or sideways at some points so just flip your container so it's facing the same direction as the canvas itself and that'll make it less likely to mess those symbols up uh, other than that though, I see a couple of like, there's two dots here, three dots here, but nothing immediately jumping out at me. So let's look at the canvas. I wanna share the different elements of the canvas with you all. Right off the bat, here at the top we have Diamond Art Club's branding. If you take a look, you'll see that we have scalloped and finished edges here, so you're not gonna have to worry about any fraying. Like I said, the canvas material is, it's really soft on the back, and it's a thick, sturdy material, but it also has give. You may have noticed that it started, it, it laid flat very, very quickly. That's very characteristic of Diamond Art Club's canvases. They are a dream to work on. They do use poured glue. It's a soft and kind of springy material. And you can see it does go just a little bit past the edge of the drill field. And that's, those are the areas that I'll cover up with washi tape, just so I don't like get fuzz and dirt and stuff in those areas when I'm working. Here at the top left, we do have a legend for all 51 of those colors. We have the same legend over here at the bottom right. Here you can see, look at the details in her dress. Oh my goodness, and of course, super characteristic of Mandy Manzano's artwork is the black outlining, that stained glass vibe. Oh my gosh, it has such a beautiful effect in diamond painting, I love it. Okay, here at the bottom left, sorry, I got sidetracked. We have a thumbnail of the original artwork as well as all of the information about the artwork itself. Again, Mandy Manzano's the artist, and look at this super important little symbol here, copyright copyright. So Mandy Manzano has both given permission for the use of this artwork as well as uh, is being compensated for the use of this artwork by Diamond Art Club. So that's really, really important to me. Art theft is unfortunately very common in the diamond painting and crafting world in general. So I strive to support companies that are doing right by artists and that includes Diamond Art Club. <laughs> We have all of their social media info here as well as another discount code and then information about their lifetime warranty. As long as you are the original purchaser of the kit, um, if you run into any issues ever with the canvas, the glue, the drill field, the drills themselves, anything at all, contact their customer service. I recommend either emailing them or even messaging them through Facebook and they tend to be very, very responsive and they'll get you taken care of. Let's go on a little uh, tour of the canvas as far as the actual drill field goes. Do you see how the drill field is actually a little bit sparkly? Like what kind of unicorn glitter did they put in this glue? <laughs> um, oh, Mandy Manzano, all of those black symbols with white dots in the middle, that's all 310. Again, that just the stained glass effect. I'm checking to make sure that our printing looks pretty clear. We do have threes and eights here, which can look similar but look to be printed pretty distinctly. We have E's and F's down here. Again, look to be printed so distinctly, I don't think you'll mess them up. All of these beautiful colors. So it looks like we do have some chunks of color blocking or areas that we have a lot of the same color all at once. You'll be able to use your multi-placer if you like. You can just blitz right on through, like this section is all one symbol. All this 310, um, that's what we call color blocking. And typically that does go faster than areas of confetti. I will try to find a good example of confetti, maybe in her face. Even there, not so much. <laughs> confetti is where you have a lot of color changes in a small area. You'll be doing some more single placing, changing out the color in your trays more often. Look at how these colors just blend into these really pretty light blues and teals. Oh my goodness. She is so pretty. 
Oh, I'm a sucker for a gorgeous Mandy Manzano painting. I'm so happy that we have another one from her from Diamond Art Club. Yay. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the diamonds together and see what we have to work with. So we do have the name of the painting here if you do want to store your diamonds separate from the canvas itself. Um, that'll help you match it up later. All right, moment of appreciation and silence for the beautiful packing job that they have done with these diamonds. Love it. So like I said, these are Diamond Art Clubs. These are round diamonds. Diamond Art Club did recently begin manufacturing all of their diamonds in-house, two bags of 939. Um, and while the difference is much more apparent with square diamonds, they did in fact also begin manufacturing their round diamonds in house as well by the way one two three four bags of 310 that is not a lot when it comes to a mandy manzano painting look at that oh gorgeous slate blue gray oh, love it pinks oh so happy anyway the round diamonds though have also uh began to be manufactured entirely in house as well they are super faceted. I have a harder time telling the difference, to be honest with you. I find that they are really, really sparkly, but not quite as smooth and shiny because they're so, so faceted. I feel like if you run your hand over them, you can almost feel that they're almost spiky in texture. That means they sparkle so, so much. All right, two bags of one of our favorite AB colors right off the bat, one of Diamond Art Club's favorites, I should say. One for one. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis. If you take a look, you can see it's subtle on these, but these diamonds have a really sparkly and gorgeous iridescent coating on the top. Um, these are gonna sparkle even more than regular diamonds. And the areas that they've been charted, your eye is going to be drawn to a bit. It's gonna pick up some of the colors of the diamonds around it. And just Diamond Art Club has a way of placing these and charting these in such a way that it enhances the original artwork beautifully. So we will take a look at all of the AB colors that came with this kit and I will be sure to point out to you where those are going to go on the canvas. Here we have these gorgeous muted tones. Keep going here. So, so many beautiful shades of blue and teal. When there's so many different shades of a similar color, I feel like that means that there's gonna be amazing color blending and shading. I love it. All right, our second AV 137. This is a amazing and bold blue AB. Look at the colors that's reflecting on the tops. Love it more blues muted earth tones as well oh my gosh so 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 pretty love 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 is this your color palette is is this calling your name <laughs> i love her i love her okay some more pretty muted tones here we go with more browns we get another blue ab this is our third ab in this kit 120 it's got a little bit more of an aqua hue to it. Super pretty. As we keep going here, we got a yellow in there. This must have about every shade of blue and teal in the DMC, my goodness. All right, our fourth and final AB is 104. This is a pale peach AB. It's really pretty subtle and I really do like that a lot. Just a small handful of those. Couple more browns and then some bright pinks and reds. Quite a few stragglers in that one. All right, little stragglers, we'll get rid of you when we're, when we're cleaning out trash. Okay, let's start here at the bottom of the canvas. I wanna point out to you guys where we're gonna find those ABs. So uh, it looks like the symbols and or numbers, one, two, three, and four are going to be the symbols for our ABs. Um, right off the bat here at the bottom, we have both shades of blue AB um kind of through here uh let me see this is a little hard to pick out okay so yeah there's the more bold blue ab it's in chunks a lot of this like i said in general is chunks of color blocking even if it's small sections of color blocking there's not tons and tons of confetti so uh that both of those 
two blue ABs I'd shown you are throughout really lots of areas of this background. These swirls, it's not background, it's her dress. It's her beautiful, beautiful dress. Both the bold blue AB and the more muted, like kind of uh, aqua blue AB through, oh my gosh, so many different portions of her dress. It's gonna be beautiful highlighting. Seeing it here as well. I would like her dress, it's so pretty. <laughs> as we keep going up, we do have some of the white AB here. Um, this is her wings, the outlines of these like, I think her wings are like gossamer, they're so beautiful. Again, just chunks of that white outlining there. I wanna make sure I'm not missing that more pale pink AB. That's gonna be the number one, but I haven't seen it yet, I don't believe. Um, oh, here it is. Here's some of that number one, that pale pink AB right here. And the white AB is just all the outlining. Oh, huge, huge bits of that white AB here. It's her wings. It's entirely the outlining of her wings. Oh, that's gonna be so beautiful. Love, 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 love it. Taking a peek, make sure I'm not missing any more of these blue ABs. It's the white ABs we really had the most of. Surprisingly, no white ABs in her eyes or in her face. I'm really okay with it. I'm not a fan of ABs and skin tones as a rule. There are exceptions to every rule, but I, I'm okay with not seeing that in her face. Again, her wings, all the outlining in her wings, white ABs for days, and I'm here for it. I just want to take a closer look. I feel like my eyes are playing tricks on me. <laughs> I am not really seeing any ABs up here except for little patches of these white ABs, which I think has kind of, a, is that like a glimmery effect? Yes. Okay, so you see these like little balls of light. Those are white ABs throughout. Look at her amazing wings. Oh, she is stunning. She is stunning. Um, I was gonna say, it looked like this might be an area with some of the blue AB, but I don't see any charted here. So it looks like those blue ABs, the two different shades of blue ABs are just gonna be in her dress, which, okay, yeah, I'm on board. <laughs> and then we've got the white ABs in her wings and just a little bit of the pink AB. Was it just really there? Down towards the bottom, that's an interesting choice. Not in her skin tone, I just wanna double check. That's okay with me. Yeah, not that I'm seeing in her skin tone. Oh, there's a little bit of the pink AB right here as well. So it looks like just some really subtle highlighting that they're doing with that pink AB. That's gonna be a nice overall subtle effect. So I love what I'm seeing as far as the AB placement goes. I'm loving what I'm seeing about basically everything in this kit. She is so pretty, I love it. So let me give you a really quick recap, you guys. This is a piece titled The Water Fairy. Ooh. Before I do that, I forgot to measure it for you guys. I knew I was forgetting something. Okay, real quick, let's do a measurement and then I'll give you, I'll give you that recap. So this should be 51 by 84 centimeters. And we are, ooh, look, my roller shifted. Okay, we are almost exact, we are at exactly 84 centimeters tall by a tick shy of 51 centimeters wide. So I'm definitely gonna call that true to size. Okay. <laughs> Going on back to what I was saying, this is The Water Fairy. This is from Diamond Art Club and the artist Mandy Manzano, whose artwork looks absolutely stunning in diamond painting form. And I have no doubt that this will also be incredible once it has diamonds down. It's incredible just as it's rendered. Diamond Art Club does an incredible job with hand charting their canvases. They're really intentional about selecting sizes and selecting drill shapes that they feel most do the artwork justice and um, are gonna make for like a really rewarding experience for us as diamond painters, and I so appreciate that about them. Um, this kit, along with all of the other new releases this week, be sure to check out my fellow sneak peek content creators to see close up looks at those. Um, this kit, along with the other new releases, are going to release tomorrow, Saturday, January 19th, uh, not January, it's February, February 19th at um, 9 a.m. for an early access window for Diamond and Ruby Level Rewards members, Pacific time, 9 a.m. Pacific time. And then half an hour later, it'll go live for the general release at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. 
So uh, again, this is gonna be limited edition. So if you think that you're going to want this beauty as part of your collection, which you really should, she's stunning, uh, be sure to have your alarms set to be watching your emails and your texts for that link from Diamond Art Club. Um, and don't wait on it if you think that you're going to want her. <laughs> she's so pretty. Um, thank you to Diamond Art Club again for sending this over for me to share with all of you. I hope this sneak peek was helpful for you in making a decision about if this is going to be on your shopping list for the weekend. Please let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. I'd be more than happy to help. Let me know. Are you going to be shopping for the Water Fairy this weekend or any of the other new releases? Best of luck to you um, in your shopping. And thank you so, so much for watching this video. If it was helpful for you, would you mind giving it a thumbs up before you head out? And if you're not already subscribed and want to see lots and lots more diamond painting content from me, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I share new videos. All right, my friends, I hope you have an absolutely wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.